Hi, I'm Mariana Figuero. I'm a professor and director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In this video, we're going to look into how controlling the 24-hour light-dark patterns can help teens fall asleep earlier. Adolescents tend to fall asleep and wake up later than societal norms. Despite this, many high schools start at about 7.30 in the morning. This means that adolescents end up curtailing their sleep during weekdays because they cannot fall asleep early and yet they have fixed wake-up times, which is typically earlier than when their biological clock is telling them to wake up. To make matters worse, adolescents often spend their mornings indoors in dim light and sometimes only get daylight after school, which further delays the timing of their sleep. Also, students are increasingly using laptops and other self-luminous devices into the night for homework and socializing. This can not only further shift their circadian clock to a later time, but it increases their level of alertness and makes it difficult to fall asleep. The resulting lack of sleep can lead to poor performance, daytime sleepiness, and many other issues. For this reason, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that most adolescents should start school no earlier than 8.30 a.m. However, because it can be logistically challenging to change school start times due to busing or sports schedules, and in far northern areas, the sun isn't even up by 8.30 a.m. in the winter. A practical alternative may be to shift students' circadian rhythms to an earlier time. This can be done through a lighting intervention designed to deliver high circadian stimulus, or CS, during school hours, and provisions to reduce evening light exposure, such as wearing orange-tinted glasses. It's also important for adolescents to limit their use of self-luminous devices at least two hours before the desired bedtime. In a recent study, the LRC found that teenagers using self-luminous devices close to bedtime dramatically suppressed melatonin, which makes it harder to sleep. Successfully implementing a robust 24-hour light-dark pattern in this population will likely involve both school administrators and family members. On our website, you can find lighting patterns to help specify classroom lighting to control CS throughout the day. In the next video, we'll discuss lighting for office workers.